Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Chevy Cruze that's overheating and uh, how you can tell if it's the coolant temperature sensor itself or if it's something else because you know, there's a lot of things that can cause the, the Chevy Cruze to overheat. It's kind of common with this vehicle. You got different things that could cause this engine to overheat. You got the water pump, you got the thermostat, you got, you know, it could be just low on coolant, but sometimes it's just the sensor itself. And this is actually kind of common with uh, Chevy Cruises. So it's, it's something to keep in mind if you have a one that's overheating. So what is it? What is one of the basic ways to be able to tell really fast? Well, if you, when you first start the car and if the engine's cool, it gauge shouldn't be showing that it's overheating. If, if it does show that it's overheating, then it's, that sensor is likely bad. Keep in mind, bad wiring like a short or an open or something like that can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So it could be in the wiring or the sensor. And the same thing applies too. If the sensor doesn't want to move up, it just always stays in the cool, then it could be a bad sensor too. And a common message with this is AC off due to high engine temp. Keep in mind, it could be a component on the engine. You know, it could be the water pump or a belt or or the thermostat, but I just want to go through that what a lot of people skip is that this engine coolant temperature sensor is what reports to the computer that it's, it's overheating or not. And if it goes bad, then there won't be no bad components on the engine and it'll be reporting this. So it's something just to keep in mind here. So common coolant temperature sensor codes is like P00B7, P00B6, and, and so on. Usually these all be grouped together and what is some symptoms of this? Well, the fans will be running constantly because it might be reporting to the onboard computer that the engine's overheating. The temperature gauge will always show hot, even when the engine's cool, or the temperature gauge just doesn't wanna work. And uh, where's the location of this? Well, it's usually on the top of the engine. Be sure to Google your Chevy Cruze since there can be some variations on it since, uh, on the year it was built, but it's usually right on the top and the, this temperature sensor is a low cost part. I'm gonna switch to over here to Amazon and show you. It's like 10, 14, 15 bucks, 16 for that one. And since it's a low cost part, if you suspect that it's bad, it, it could be best just to swap it out since you'll be able to rule that out. If you have a cruise that's overheating and you think it might be the sensor, they're pretty easy to swap out really. Uh, if you have to change one, uh, first, you know, Google the location on your engine, but they're commonly on the top like in this picture on this cruise, there'll be a small clip hold it on and then you're just gonna twist it out and, and it'll come right out and then you just twist in the new one, put your clip back on and plug it back in and, it, and it'll be good to go. So that's basically it. I just wanted to give a quick overview what could happen if an engine coolant temperature sensor is bad on a Chevy Cruise and a basic overview of, of how to act. So, so if you, if you even gone through a, a cruise and, you're, and it just keeps overheating on you and you swapped everything out, but the engine is not overheating, that's the biggest thing is that the engine's not overheating and, and it's still reporting that it's overheating because if the engine's overheating, then you got a completely separate issue going on and you know, you got something else happening, but if the engine's not overheating and it's reporting and it keeps coming back saying that it is then change out this engine coolant temperature sensor and that'll probably solve the problem. If it doesn't, then check the wiring. Check for an open, a short on, on the wires going to the engine coolant temperature sensor. So, so that's basically it. Uh, if you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. But if this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.